and Paco are working so hard on switching out the solar system. Switching out the solar system. Good morning, everybody. It is another lovely day here at Frankie's sister's house. We really want to get the solar panels done, but look how freaking foggy it is. It's so bad. Like, I want to start taking stuff off, but at the same time, I don't know what the weather's even going to be like. But the problem, too, is that the whole van is, like, covered in dew. So there's little wet droplets on everything. And so if we start pulling it off, we might get some dewy droplets inside of the holes in the roof. Nobody wants no dewy droplets. <laughs> Just doesn't sound good. Get your dewy droplets <laughs> out of here. Hey you, dewy droplets, get out of here. <laughs> so we've been up since six in the morning just like working on vloggy stuff or yeah, whatever. Doing our edits. Doing our edits. We were also working on the 11K giveaway. Oh yeah, but by the time this comes out, that'll be long. That'll gone. be over. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Well, we're a bit behind. We hope whoever's won is happy that they won. Yeah. And, so. And we're... maybe we're on the way to meet up with the person who won the panel. Ooh, I hope so. Me too. Hey, you stay with Paco. I gotta pee. I gotta go to the bathroom. Well, no, I'm peeing first. Oh, man. What's up guys and welcome back to FNA Van Life. I'm Frankie. I'm Alex. And today we are gonna be installing a whole new solar system. Well, maybe not all today, but between today and tomorrow, yeah. we will be installing a whole new solar system. Over the last winter, we spent a lot of time by the mountains and whatnot, so the sun is sometimes hard to come by. Yeah, and when it's gray and rainy or snowy, it's and the day is shorter, so you're not going to have as much opportunity to get sun. And winter is coming. Yes, it is. Our current system is a little bit lacking because we were trying to do everything on a super budget when we first bought the van. Our MPPT controller cost like $15. Yeah, I think it was like a $15 MPPT controller off of Amazon. And on top of that it is meant for 20 amps, which is less of a rating than what we need to take in all the solar we have coming from our roof. And so in the summer, when the sun was like charging, the MPPT controller would get so hot yeah. and like kind of overheat. It was it a was little bit sketchy. It was only handling about half the load that we were taking in. So we were losing almost 50% of the power from the sun. We weren't, weren't harnessing properly. Just because our MPPT controller. It was undersized. Yeah. What we did is we contacted Grape Solar. Grape Solar is a company based out of Oregon here in the United States. They have American made products and they're super high quality. So we're really excited to switch our entire solar system over to Grape Solar. Quick puppy break. Paco, I just asked him, I'm like, do you want to be in the shot? He said, <laughs> he got so excited, <laughs> jumped right in my arms. So the first thing that we're doing is swapping out the MPPT controller. As you can see, there is a clear visual difference between our current and the new Grape Solar MPPT. I mean, just size alone, let alone the fact that it doesn't have hieroglyphics on it. <laughs> so what we're going to do first is swap that out with our current panels. And we're going to see what difference it makes in terms of bringing in extra power. So if you're looking for a way to just like juice up your system, maybe all you need is a brand new Grape Solar MPPT controller. Yeah. Ba -ba! I feel like this one, just from the looks on the outside of it, I feel like it's going to do a great job. One thing that I find that is always big with the cheaper ones is the fact that the ports, these ports that you put the wires in, are normally extremely small. Look at the size of these ones. They're huge. You are actually going to be able to get your wires in here and properly connect them and have them hold well. I really want to show you guys the difference in the size of the ports. This is the old MPPT controller that was sitting on the wall. And you can see how little tiny these ports are. Look at that. And then look at the size of this port. You could fit the whole wire in that thing. That is a huge difference. Thanks, Grape Solar. But yeah, just the quality, the hard plastic, mm -hmm. everything, it feels really nice and sturdy. And we're actually going to have a way to see what we're bringing in. Yeah. The current one that we have is just like 
arrows and like flashing and you're like I don't know what's happening so this is actually gonna tell us what we're bringing in and how we're using the Sun and then setting this controller as well I feel like is gonna be super simple other one it's like hold the power button and the up and down oh, no. and yeah it's just really weird so it's very hard to set up that controller so I'm hoping that the usability is very good on this also another thing is the customer service uh, just calling and talking to them about getting the product they were super friendly and helpful and you called yesterday about a bunch of questions about you know the hookups yep. and things like that customer service was great as well so I'm looking forward to using this product and if there is anything that we need we won't hesitate to give them Cool. All right, so let's see how easy it is to swap out the MPPT controller. Frank's doing everything. I'm just gonna like hold the camera and Vanna White. Yeah, Vanna White over here. With the control, they also give you this little instructions list on how to install it. What's really cool about this little cardboard piece is that they give you the inserts to draw on the wall exactly where you'd be putting your drill holes or your screws. So I think that's extremely helpful. That way you don't have to make your own template. They already give you one. And then it gives you all exactly select the location. They tell you that you need a specific type of airflow. Ours is going to be outside in the open so we don't have to worry about it being enclosed in the cabinet and overheating. Mm -hmm. We're literally going to take the MPPG from where it is and just put the new one right there. Yep. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Me and Paco are working so hard on switching out the solar system. Switching out the solar system. Oh, Babe, my type job. You did such a great job. Babe. It fell immediately. So I decided to take it off the wall to make the installation a bit easier. So I'm gonna connect all my terminals and then after that connect my sensors. It just seems to be a bit easier this way. Well, we're in like a weird tight spot So too. we're nice and tight here now. So now I'm gonna take my negative. Slide it on in there. Make sure it's in there really deep and nice and tight in there. Oh, you see the little oh, light yeah, coming on now? Once I put this negative line in for the battery side, you're going to see it start reading immediately what our battery is doing or what our battery has going on. Last night when we were going to bed, we realized that our battery bank was super low. It was below 12 volts, which we never let it go that low, but it just has been so cloudy and smoky and like the sun has not been coming in. And yesterday, what did we have running? Just our fridge. Yeah, just the fridge and the lights maybe and a pump. maybe a fan. Nothing like super crazy, but we drained the battery because we weren't really bringing in any sun. So we knew that the batteries were going to be really low. So we'll see if this new MPPT controller is going to help us bring in the sun for today. Uh, at 12.5 now. We never get to 12.5 that quickly. She's still coming up too. So we have all the wires in and we are pulling in solar. By the end of the day, I want to see it stay up in that range rather than dropping down to like 12.3 or 12.0. And the more sun we get, the higher that will go. Before we install the beautiful new solar panels, probably tomorrow, because it rained this morning, so we want to let everything dry up. We're going to watch the MPPT controller and see how it does. Because honestly, you might just be able to optimize your system by using the panels you already have and just getting a better module to turn that power into juice. Update on the MPPT controller, even with our panels being kind of dirty and even with it being a cloudy gray day, we are getting more solar than we do on like a really nice day. Usually it would be saying about 12.5, maybe 12.6. We're getting 12.8, like which is amazing. Yeah. So this MPPT controller is already maximizing our system. So once we switch out the solar panels, 
it should be even better because now we'll have better quality solar panels. A couple yeah. more watts, Cu too. Yeah, well, a couple more. Talk about 140 more, girl. Oh, shoot. Oh, Let's shoot. get it. Hey, would you guys like to see my cock? Oh, you would, would you? Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> Through the roof. RV seal it. This is what we're going to use to seal the new holes that we're going to be drilling in as well as the old holes that we're going to be taking the screws out of. So we need something to seal them all up with. So we're going to use some through the roof. Hopefully this one thing is Why enough. didn't you buy two? Because I think that one will be enough. <laughs> How do we get them off the roof? So I have to get the ladder out of the back, which mm -hmm. I have the doors open, getting ready for that right now. Then I'm going to go up there with a drill and I'm going to drill everything out. Mm -hmm. And then we also have to clean the surface area. So we got to take like a scraping tool or something to, to get clean all up the, the caulk area. off that's yep. already up there. And then we'll add this new caulking into the holes that are there. Uh, we'll see what we could reuse in terms of holes. Hole wise, yeah. And uh, we also need that um, VHB tape. Where is that? It's up there in my front door. Oh, you're hiding things in your front door again. Yes, I am on purpose because I know where it is. All right, let's get started. A couple of you have commented on YouTube how unsafe you feel when Frankie is doing construction work <laughs> because he's got zero safety protocol. <laughs> so this is going to be a real good one for you guys. My old job would be happy because I used to give him shit all the time for unsafe work. And now look at me. Climbing up on ladders and roofs in flip-flops and socks. Let's see if my thumb snap transition works. Damn it, it's broken. I gotta take all these off myself. I thought it would just appear. Looks like I need a shoe change too. There you go. My transition worked, haha. <laughs> Time to get started. All right, bye-bye to Rich and hello to Great. Just an FYI guys, when your solar panels are dirty like this, they don't bring in as much sun. So you really need to clean these regularly. As you can tell from our roof, we don't do that. I'm gonna start taking off this first panel here. It's drilled into the top of the truck. So we are gonna have to remove these and then seal them. So let's get started. That came out so easy. One out. That was so much easier than I thought. We put so much goop in there. Look at the seal. Oh, wow. Man, I hope that we don't get leakies from this. I feel like every van owner feels this pain when you're drilling holes in your stuff. Like, please, God, don't let it rain inside my house. Yeah, and especially now that the whole roof is actually up and together, because it would take a while before we noticed it. Uh. Yeah. Okay, we got all the solar panels off the roof. Uh, now we have to clean everything up, get it all nice and clean so we could seal each and every one of these holes. And then once we have all the holes sealed, then we could try to think about the configuration of the new panels. I got your cock. Oh, thanks babe for giving me my cock back. She always takes my cock from me. I also have the cock gun. Oh. Hey, hey, come on, you're messing with my gun. We're gonna work specifically with the areas with the caulking first, um, where the holes are, so that those can get nice and clean, because we don't want any kind of water or anything getting into those. So I'm just using whatever household cleaner I have. Right now I'm caulking all the holes. Uh, Alex went around cleaning them all up, and I'm gonna seal them. I'm gonna put it all around it, a half inch around it, so that way we know that we've sealed that area fully. That looks so legit. Too legit to quit. That does not look legit. Well, not great for your fingers. How long does it take to dry? It said in 30 minutes, uh, you can put it on with it wet as well. So if there was some water up here, it wouldn't matter. It would seal, so it cures in one to two weeks, and you can paint over it one week. Hey, just want to well, Frank sure. plays with his caulking. Caulk. I've got other business to attend to. What business you attend to? 
What kind of business? My business is none of your business. Oh, my Chicago. You are so handsome. and Paco are working so hard on switching out the solar system. Switching out the solar system. So the first line of defense sealing everything is done. Now we're gonna go get the other panels and we're gonna start to think about the configuration of how it's gonna go. One way to actually check if any of these are leaking is we can pour a little bit of water on top of them and see if the water disappears. If it does, that means you have a hole. Alex, what are you up to? I'm removing all of the gunk from the old brackets. We're reusing our brackets that we had on our old solar panels. We got our solar panels from grape solar directly from grape so if you actually went to the home depot or one of the other outlets i think it would come with mounting brackets but because ours came directly from grape solar because this episode is sponsored by grape solar ours are a little bit different but still the same high quality We're all done up here time to go get the new panels alex catch Ow. Our four 100 watt panels are getting replaced with three 180, 160. Hello, I am the supervisor for today's job. I'm going to sit here and drink my tea while I tell Frankie what he's doing wrong. The biggest issue that I have with my supervisor is she doesn't even know the job. Know the You're task. doing it wrong. She doesn't know the You're task. You're doing it wrong. I will erase you. What do I do next? Erase the face. These are the old brackets. They are currently glued on. And by glued, I mean screwed. Supervisor, how many uh, washers are on this? That is not my job to know. If I remind you of your boss, let us know in the comments below. And I am tap dancing right on out of here. <laughs> Why do you sound like... You're the dude from Despicable Me. It's my split personalities. I'm gonna take these panels and I'm gonna put them away because we don't need these garbage panels anymore. We got grape solar. I did that weird. Got it. Bye. Look at the difference in that size. Is crazy. So these are our old panels, 100 watts. These are our new panels, 160 watts. This is, no, 180. 180, sorry. Delaney, are you gonna put the solar panels on the roof? Yep, sir. Yeah? Yeah, make it. Cool. Yeah, are those all your tools? Are you being overdramatic, Paco? Paco is in such a strange mood today. Paco. Oh, hi. And switch her now to solar system. Snug. Snug as a bug in a rug? Snug like a glove. Uh, excuse me, supervisors? Supervisor 1 and Supervisor 2 are having a loose supervisor meeting, so... This doesn't look like an HR style meeting. Mm. This looks like a snuggle sesh. Gonna have to break this up. Supervisor snuggle sesh. Gonna have to break this up. <laughs> it is too cute. Too cute. Hi. Oh, he woke up. Rather than put a ton of new holes in the roof, we're gonna use VHB tape. This is supposed to be like astronaut grade tape. Great. So I'm gonna put it on all of the panels, but we're also gonna screw at least two screws into each panel. The VHB tape should hold, but the screws are like a, a just in case, oh shit. It's a safety precaution. It's a safety precaution because you don't wanna like be it. somewhere and your tape malfunctions like at least if it malfunctions a bit and you still got two screws in before it flies off and kills somebody you can fix it so vhb tape is great but you still need to screw your panels in please and everything construction wise everybody has some type of safety right so for instance your lines on your electrical system are perfectly fine if they're gauge right and everything and you shouldn't need a safety on it but guess what people put a safety on it just in case so this is the same exact situation. We're sealing something to a roof that we're gonna be driving 80 miles per hour or so with these panels on top. 
You don't want it to just lift up a little bit and then next thing you know, it goes through somebody's window. I highly doubt your insurance company would cover you if your taped on solar panels did damage to somebody else. So please be safe. Baby, what's your issue? My issue is, is that the brackets don't line up where I need them to line up inside these ribs so that way they're not like wonky and I could create actual seals. The ones that we had before, the way we had them lay, laid out is to where we're not in like on one of those grooves because if you are, it's going to be very hard to create a nice good seal. So because the panels are a bit bigger, they're obviously not gonna fit in the same configuration. So now we're just trying to figure out exactly where they're gonna sit. I don't think the tape is gonna work because you need a direct seal exactly to the roof from the panel. So you want it flat to flat. And we're just all over ribs up here. So we're gonna have to drill some holes, but that's why we got the sealant. As you guys have probably noticed, the sun is setting. We are losing daylight. So Frankie's just gonna wire everything together, which is, Pretty simple, just click and play. You just have to make sure you're clicking the right things together. And then we're not gonna worry about mounting everything until tomorrow. If you want everything to be in parallel, you go positive to positive to positive from panel to panel to panel, and then back into the, into the space. If you want everything to be in series, you would go positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative. The difference is, is that when you go positive to positive, you need these little handy dandy guys right here. And what they do is they allow you to connect all the positives to one side and all the negatives to the other. And then that way you have um, your parallel. The clouds look really pretty in the solar panels. All right guys, we are all done for today. We're officially bringing in some sun through our solar panels and getting some energy. It's a little late though because the sun, yeah, the is, sun is like down. But the good part is, is we have them up here, ready to go. They're gonna, all wired properly, you know, they're working. We're gonna rinse the roof and then clean it all down, dry it all down, and then figure out exactly where we're gonna put these. Mm -hmm. So That's a job for tomorrow though. Yeah. So tonight, we're just gonna have dinner and chill. Yeah, amen to that. I'm ready. <laughs> uh -huh. Good morning, everybody. It's like 7 a.m. It's too bright in here. Two things. First, the house is already a disaster. Like, how did this happen? Second, how the hell do you wake up? It's too bright. Kind of lies down. Second, remember how it wasn't supposed to rain until Wednesday? It's boring. So a big hope that our seals held. The stuff is supposed to technically be able to go on when it's wet outside and it needs to cure for two weeks. So hopefully it's allowed to be wet in those two weeks. There it is. Fingers crossed. <laughs>